Hi, I'm Yaakov Kirshen. I do the Dry Bones cartoons, and I'm a fellow at Yale, having been asked uh, to examine the link between anti-Semitism and political cartoons. Okay, so here's a question. Can you explain why women's groups, gays and lesbians, Christians, academics, atheists, artists, students for academic freedom, liberals and journalists, don't all demonstrate against the threat of Islamism? Isn't that crazy? Hey, this is me over here. So the answer to that question is an ancient fear. A fear that is set off and spread through images. And through the centuries, these images have been used to develop a fear in the public's mind of Jews, Jewish enterprises, and the Jewish religion. So from the blurry pages of history, the Nazis took images of fear and built a set of image codes which would affect the public with this fear of the fictitious international Jewish threat. And after World War II, the Stalinists used the exact same set of images to divert attention from their plans for global domination. And here in the 21st century, both the Iranian Shiites and the Al-Qaeda Sunni terrorists use the same set of image codes to direct attention from their assault on society. So let's take a look at a couple of the codes. Here's an image of a Jewish spider done in the 1800s. And in the 1940s, the Jews as spider image is used in many Nazi cartoons. And here's the same image code in one of the many Soviet examples. Here in the 21st century, the image is still actively poisoning the public. The more you look at them, the more the idea of Jews as spiders is registered in your consciousness. Repulsive, dangerous, and dehumanized. Jews are not deserving of empathy. They're not normal people. The spider image is one of 33 codes I've identified so far. This here is a woodcut from 1900. A group of bearded Jews suck the blood from a child. And ten centuries later, the image code continues to spread its poisonous message. The Jews are blood-sucking demons. Every major attempt at global domination seems to have used the same set of image codes to freeze the public. The media and the governments with a fear and hatred and anger at the Jews. So, the reason that women's groups, gays and lesbians, Christians, academics, atheists, artists, students for academic freedom, liberals and journalists don't demonstrate against the threat of Islamism is because they've been infected, frozen in the headlights, forced to stress over the Jews and the Jewish state, brainwashed. They are thinking under the influence. To book an appearance by Dry Bones, contact Miss Sally Ariel. Sally, S-A-L-I, at MrDryBones.com. Oh, and I'll tell a few jokes, too.